This is what I like to call the plank robot kit, robot chassis kit. It consists of two wheels, two motors, encoders, and this caster, and a battery box. Although some people tell you that four batteries is probably not enough power to power most microcontrollers. When you get it, you get two wheels, two motors, two encoders, four screws for the battery box and nuts, four motor mounting brackets and screws and nuts, an on off switch here, and the mounting chassis along with a caster and the screws to mount the, uh, the caster including these standoffs here. You'll need two tools, a screwdriver and a pair of pliers. So the assembly of this thing goes fairly easily. You take one of your motors and you take two of your motor mounts. And you're going to stick the first one onto this side and the second one on the edge there and hold it with your finger. Got that? And the white parts go towards the back where the plus signs are. And you'll see why in a minute. And you hold that together, take the longer screw, put it in the top, and it goes right through. You can see that. Hold it together with your fingers, and you're going to take a nut and put that on top. Just like that. Don't make it too tight yet, because otherwise you'll have trouble getting the bottom screw in. The bottom screw just goes right into that hole through the other side. You get the screw on top of there, and it's a little tricky because it's very tight in there. Not much room to move. So what I do is just hold it with my finger and then grab the screwdriver and turn it. And so now we have the motor mount attached to the chassis. Don't make them too tight or this plastic will snap. And you can see the white piece of this is over the top of the hole. And make sure, oh, I got this one backwards. There's little metal things and these are used later to attach the power to the motor. Make sure they're facing the outside, otherwise it's going to be difficult to attach the power to Alright, now we have the two motors mounted with the four screws. One, two, three, four. And they're tight and ready to go. And you notice the little metal pieces here, where we're going to connect the motors, is on the outside of both of them. So next we're going to just pop on the wheels. Just line up the slot, and bingo, it's on. Second one, bingo. Take these little slotted doohickeys called wheel encoders, line up the slot and slide them on. One and two. And you're done with that bit. Next we're going to do the, um, the on and off switch. Fairly easy. Turn it upside down, put it in the middle, snap it in place. Some snap in better than others. Okay, next we're going to take the caster and we're going to partially assemble it before we put it on the robot. Take one of the standoffs in one hand, take a screw in the other hand, push the screw through the hole, hold the back of the screw and turn the standoff like so. Like so. Maybe I got the wrong screw. We'll try that again. Ah, there we go. But don't, again, don't make it too tight because it's got to be adjustable later. Screw number two. Standoff number two. The trick is to point one at the other. 
And obviously I'm not doing a good job of that. There we go. Two done. Two to go. That one went easy. And the last one, screw. Stand off. And again, don't make them too tight. Next, we take it and we're going to put this on the same side as the motors. Don't put it on the other side or it doesn't work right. And we're going to turn it so the wider edge is here. And we're going to put it right here. There are four holes cut out for this. Take it up on edge, start with the first screw, put it through the screw hole, put it over the standoff. I'm going to get my screwdriver for this and get it started. Again, don't tighten it up yet. Second one, screw in the hole into the standoff. Third one, same as before. Ah. Magnetic screwdriver. They're a blessing and a curse. And that's three. And with a little luck, this one should just line up. And if not, make it line up. And that's four. I use my bigger Phillips screwdriver to tighten it down a little bit tighter. over, tighten the bottom screws, one, <coughs> two, three, and four. You can see the switch popped out. Some of these switches don't fit so well, so you'll have to use a, a drop of glue. Hot glue usually works best to keep these in place. Lastly, we're going to put the battery box on. You're going to turn your whole robot so the wheels are down. You're going to put your battery box here. See the little slots here? We're going to put it right on top. Now, these screws are different than the other screws we had put in. These have a flat top. If by chance you used a round top in place of a flat top or a flat top in place of a round top, you need to switch it out so you can have two of these to put in the battery box. Battery box is simple. We just put the screw through the screw hole, put it through the slot, turn the robot sideways or even upside down, hand tighten the nut. And these are all the same size. Basically, they're on um, M3s. Take the second screw. Put it through the hole, put on the second nut, grab your pliers, hold on to the bottom of the nut, grab your screwdriver, tighten it, and repeat. Now we have the robot chassis all ready for, <coughs> excuse me, the um, Arduino or whatever microcontroller you're going to use and sensors. Finished.